Okay, hey Robin Keith, it was an amazing trip. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video walkthrough of just the things that we noticed and um, just so that, you know, some things to look for. So we had um, a great time using the sway bars. I would highly recommend that something this big be used with sway bars. We, if you remember, um, we didn't have the clips for it, but we were able to get all of the hardware that we needed from the camping world on that first day. So all of the hardware for the sway bars, the sway bars, the hitch, uh, you're gonna wanna come take a look at this. So the, the sway bars, the pry bar for it, the hitch, and all of the other hardware that goes with it is right here. The hitch is right here. It's got the black cover on it. Um, in here, I got a pair of gloves, which I'm leaving with this thing. Um, so the uh, um, sewer uh, flush line, um, the trestle for it, the fresh water hose, the electrical, um, and the regulator, all of that stuff is right in here. Um, so one thing that we noticed across all of the hatches is that there was a lot of damage. This was before us. It was right here just from people moving it in and out. The frames should probably be replaced on all of these because if you take a look at it, when the clip goes down, when the latch goes down, that's what it's hanging on to. So let's just do a quick walk, walk around on it. I've got the stabilizers down. Um, the wheels have been chalked. Um, the outdoor shower, although it worked, we never had fantastic water pressure on it. And again, same thing, the, uh, the, the hatch, the little lip on it for this lock, it, it was it's really, really worn. Um, I, I flushed out the black water tank, um, didn't flush out the gray water tank, but I just we did get them all rinsed out, so those are clean. Um, the fresh water, we let the pump go as long as it uh, could until it got down just to a very, very small drip. Um, and so it doesn't have any fresh water in it. It's probably got a little bit, I didn't know if there was like a latch or something to, um, you know, a valve to open up and flush it that much further. Um, sewer line is in here. So the lights are working fine. Um, we never ended up using the satellite or the cable. Um, these connectors right here, especially the one for the city water, this is getting a little worn. The threads are getting a little worn. And so it's probably a good idea to switch these out at some point, um, just because the hose, you know, probably somebody jamming in it, cross-threading it, it was getting uh, it's a little worn. Um, okay, so this is the one piece of damage that we're totally gonna own. I clipped a tree on the way out and knocked the cover off of that one speaker, okay? Um, and I think in some exchanges, it was gonna be like 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. Just let us know. I'll totally own that one. That one was my fault. I hit a tree on the way out. Um, so this latch, and Keith will probably remember this, this latch never really worked. Um, and this being held up by magnets, what happened was is that we had the outdoor barbecue open and then, you know, just gust of wind, whatever, came and grabbed this, knocked it off, and knocked off the, uh, the faucet, okay? Um, I don't think it's that hard of a fix. This will have to be removed and replaced, but this got knocked off because of the wind. Okay. Otherwise, everything here worked great. Okay, fridge is fine. Um, I this might be an idea for later on. <clears throat> we put like a little piece of duct tape here because every time we got to the uh, the campsite, this had been just opened up because of cans being in there and whatever. Um, so if there's like a more permanent latch to keep it closed when you're in transit, that might be a good idea. Right now we've got it held with a piece of duct tape. Tires were outstanding. They kept their pressure the whole way. We never had to get them filled. Um, this last, this is another one where um, the frame was worn to the point here where this latch didn't have anything to hang on to. So we always had to keep this closed with the keys. Um, barbecue is back in here. The other thing that's here, uh, which is to say we didn't take it with us, return your barbecue. This is the valance that goes on top of the, um, uh, the main window, and that popped off on like day one. We got to our campsite and it was just laying on the table. So that's in here. Okay. I'll leave the keys on the inside. Go ahead and latch this up. Okay, let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, before we do that, um, I know that this is a new awning, and the first time that we tried to use it, here's what happened. Um, as we were putting it back in, 
I noticed that that uh, speaker thing started to twist and warp. And when I got up there to look at it, right here, there were some screws missing, okay? And we were able to get it back in, but what was happening is, is as that was coming back up, um, it was just, it didn't have anything to hang on to. And with all the pressure that it was, uh, that it had, it was starting to torque and twist. I found a couple of screws and was able to get it on, but it's not a permanent fix by any means. And so you're gonna want to just take a look at the awning um, because, you know, as it opens and closes, if that starts to twist, it will pop itself out, okay? All right, let's go ahead and continue on the inside. Okay, so <laughs> continuing with the inside then. Um, I mentioned that we'd flushed out the gray and the black, but if you take a look at this, for some reason, the, uh, the black water, well, there's the fresh water, it's empty. Black water is still showing uh, two thirds full, so it's probably just got some stuff in there that needs to be flushed out. Um, I did rinse it as best as I could, but for some reason the sensors are still like that. And then the gray water, even that one's totally empty, it's still showing one third. I couldn't explain why, okay? Um, the battery seems to run out real, real quick. So I don't know if those things go bad, but on the couple of times that we boondocked, if you remember that first night, the propane, uh, I should say the carbon monoxide detector started beeping, right? And it's not like we had a whole bunch of stuff that was going on, but it was disconnected from the truck just because I didn't want it to run down my battery. So the battery on this thing tends to run down real quick. Um, back to the main bedroom. Didn't have any challenges in here. Um, things work great. So let's come over to this side. TV worked great. Slide out worked great. Um, sink worked great, no problem there. Now, I texted you about the one of these LEDs that's currently behind the slide out right now. But anything that I had to remove or otherwise, you know, pull off of the trailer just because it was a loose screw or whatever, this being the LED that was flashing, if you remember, that was right here. So we dropped that in. Um, the valance, which I showed you before, that goes right here, okay? Um, we always had a problem with this table, which I'll go ahead and lift up. And as you can see from all the holes that were here, there were a lot of other people besides me that had to reset these brackets because these kept tearing themselves out of this thing. Pull that off. Okay. So it's probably a good idea to get some maybe better wood um, and redo this table a little bit just because these legs are gonna continue to tear themselves out of here. Okay, thank you, working through this. Fridge worked great, no problems with the fridge. I've got it off right now, so it's currently turned off. Um, the propane tanks out front, I haven't, um, uh, haven't touched them. We had to fill the one, but I've left them as is. Um, let's see, oh yeah, the bathroom door, come over here. The bathroom door, you can open it, but it's like you have to push and then twist and then pull. So I don't know if it's supposed to operate like that. It just felt like the hardware was, it just felt like the hardware was, was real stiff on it. Um, going into the bathroom. So this shower always drained slowly. Um, it didn't have anything to do with where the gray water stood or anything else, but the shower always drained slowly. So we got in the habit of just rinsing off for about a minute, you know, um, or getting water for about a minute, soaping up and then turning the water back on. So we would take showers in like these one minute bursts. The drain probably needs to get cleaned out. That was like it was from when we picked it up. Toilet worked great. Sink out here worked great. Everything else worked great. Um, Liz, am I forgetting anything? Uh I don't believe so. Um, you talked about the door, yep. everything else. We cleaned it out as best we could. Um, there shouldn't be any of our belongings here. We cleaned out the fridge. Yeah, we went over the whole trailer with Clorox wipes and really, really, really cleaned it out. Emptied everything. So it's all, all should be nice and clean for the next user. And we did use the stove and um, oven inside once and it worked great. No issues at all. So. Thank you for sharing the trailer with us. And just so you know that all the uh, remotes are here in this cabinet and including a backup camera that came with the trailer. Good one, I forgot about the backup camera. Last thing, I'm gonna put the keys right here on the hook. And the clipboard <laughs> is right here. We still have all of the paperwork. If you need anything from us, just let us know. Thanks a lot.